Hi, I'm Patty Marie Smith and here at FWG we really want to get kids experimenting with science and also making things and being crafty, reduce, reuse, recycle, really getting involved and stuck in with the world around them. Uh, Rob and Steve and I all had chemistry sets as kids, which was one of the things that got us interested. And they're really quite difficult to get chemistry kits that do anything these days because of the much more stringent health and safety rules, which I think is probably a good thing. But what we decided to do was to put together a box of basic lab equipment so that kids could explore and experiment just with things that you have around home. And all we did was supply the equipment that you need in order to be able to do it. I have tried to link it to the science curriculum for the schools, particularly the experimentation bit where uh, kids are supposed to learn how to measure accurately, how to make predictions as to what might happen, to record what happens, and to uh, try to repeat things showing um, that their results are accurate and valid. Um, I've also uh, included in here some things that uh, can relate to the material science, so the exploring different materials, their properties, and their uses. And I've also put in a couple of things that can be used for other parts of it, such as, for example, the magnifying glass, which can obviously be used to investigate not just how the fiber was together, which is part of looking at materials and their uses, but also looking at things like the parts of the flower, which are in the biology section. Um, you've got safety goggles, because if you're working with anything like we did, just your basic vinegar and bicarbonate of soda rocket that we did in the first video, if you're working with anything like that at all, please wear the science safety glasses that we've included in. We've also got a measuring cylinder for 25 milliliters, which again, you can use for something as simple as trying some of the different weak acids that you have at home, cola, vinegar, lemon juice, and you can measure, say, five milliliters carefully into one of the test tubes. You get two in here, and you can use some of the universal indicator paper and your tweezers that come in. Put your universal indicator paper in and measure it against the pH scale to show that it's an acid. And you could test and experiment with which things are going to be uh, have a lower pH or you could look to see if they're alkaline where it would be above 7. 7 is neutral and is what your water should be. There's also a pipette if you want to just look at, take out small amounts to test, and a stir so that you can stir, uh, stir the different things together and make sure you get a good mix. A fun badge, there's a range of different ones, I can't promise what it would be. A petri dish, which is again good for if, for example, you wanted to put that, that into the, the uh, sorry, universal indicator paper into a petri dish. There's a funnel, which we're going to use in a minute. And there's two mini magnets. Now, they're not very strong magnets, but they are enough to sort of tell if a metal has a mag the property of being magnetic, which mostly is sort of the irons and steel and that sort of thing. And you could um, perhaps look at how things can be separated for recycling based on whether they've got uh, their magnet. That is one of the things that they do in school. Right, and one of the other things that you've got in here is to play around with foams. And foams are very interesting materials. And you've got here a bottle with a foaming lid. Now you could say, just as simple as put your shampoo in it, it will foam up because of the foaming lid, and you will only have to use a tiny bit of shampoo. You could do that. Or you could make your own foaming soap with the sliver of soap that you have left in your bathroom. Now, I'm using a cheese grater. If you didn't want to use your cheese grater for this, you can just use a spoon or some safety scissors or whatever to do it. And you're going to just turn it into tiny shavings, being very careful. Okay. Back to the side. Turn 
that into a cone, pour it into your bottle. Okay, and then we're going to, I've got some warm water here, and we're going to measure in 100 milliliters using the mini funnel and it's 25 milliliters so I'm going to need four of them. See, good for maths as well. Remember to, when you're measuring, to be looking at it straight on and to measure from the middle of the meniscus which is the uh, top of the water. When you have four of them in, it should be warm water, it will make the um, soap dissolve much better. When you've got four of them in, just put the lid on, give it a shake so that the soap dissolves. And I've got one here that I actually put 100 milliliters in so you can see how it comes out. And it, you get a foaming soap. Right, so you've got all of those things in the um, basic lab equipment kit so that you can play around with it. I'm sure you'll have loads of other projects. We're going to put loads of other projects up that you can do with the various different things. And I hope you have fun. I hope you enjoyed that. And I hope you get your kids experimenting. Thanks very much.